Pastor Steve Martin. And we have a special guest speaker for you on today. Amen. We to introduce to the viewing audience all the way from what? South Africa? Praise the Lord. Currently Ministries. Apostle Solomon Kepke. Come on up, my brother. tribe in Israel called the tribe of Issachar. This tribe was tasked with one specific purpose, one specific assignment. They had to know and study the times and the seasons of God's dealings with Israel as a nation. It was their responsibility to study the law and to study what the promptings of the Spirit would be within them in marrying what God has decreed in the heavens mm -hmm. and to bring that into the realm of the earth. And so it was their specific purpose to meticulously listen, to see, to hear what God was saying to Israel as a nation and to speak the oracles of God to them so that they could be in alignment with God's sight. I think it's crucial for us in this time, right now, to know what the Spirit of the Lord is saying to you and I as an individual, but to you and I as a corporate church, and as the church universal, we've got to understand where are we on the clock of God? Or where are we on the calendar of God's dealings? Yeah. We are in a fight. Amen. This is a battle for the souls of men. Christianity is not a philosophy. It is not an ideology. It is warfare. And God has called you and I to be part of that assignment in the earth to bring all of humanity to the place of redemption. I say that the only explanation, spiritual explanation of the human experience on the earth is this, to take fallen humanity out of the first Adam in which they died and to pull them out of that Adam, out of that existence and to bring them into the second Adam. That is the total, total human experience, the purpose of the human experience on the earth. There is no other reason why you and I are here. God always wanted a godly offspring. That is why he made the human race. And to be a reflection of Him in this realm. God is Spirit. The only way that Spirit can have legal right in this domain is to live in a human body. So the purpose of your body is to be a housing, a dwelling place for the Spirit of the living God. But it does not end there. Come on. God said to Adam and Eve, after I made him spirit, male, spirit, female, he placed them in one housing. Just one. He could have made 
from the beginning, he could have made two bodies. For the male spirit and the female spirit, he made one. Because he wanted to show that it is this unity that reflects completely who I am. This is the image of God in the earth. And it is out of this unity that I will birth forth my godly offspring. And so when he made that point, after that was done, he could make a physical housing for the womb of the spiritual man, pull Eve out of Adam, put her in that housing, and now the reproduction process of reproducing a godly offspring could come into the earth. But the purpose, or rather the God's point was, before, before I want you to start getting into the assignment of the earth, that is to reproduce my character, my nature, my being, through other human beings, so that I could have across the face of the earth, yes, my face looking back at me yeah. in the face of those that I have made. Before you do that, he said, I want to show you what is the prerequisite for that in the spirit to happen. There's got to be a head and there has got to be a body. That is my order. If you disturb that, all of my purposes in the earth would go awry. Right. Right. And so I say the fall in the Garden of Eden was really a question of Eve and Adam getting out of order. Yeah. Getting out of divine order. And because of that, God's purposes in the earth was not only frustrated, yep. it was completely yep. derailed. Yes. And so we've got to understand that. I believe that in the Garden of Eden, the serpent showed up. He must have had a conversation with God. It's like, give me just a few minutes with this creature called man. Yep. Mm -hmm. And I will move them. I will get their allegiance away from you. And I will be able to hijack the womb of this creature that is supposed to bring your spirit into the earth realm. Just give me a few moments that I can take what you've said and twist it. And take my seed yeah. 